Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 on the Series X. And you know what? Let's just dive in. First of all, let's see how much data it is. And that's only 40.3 GB. The game is on Game Pass. So if you have a Game Pass subscription, you can get this game right now. How cool is that? Otherwise, you can also buy it only $49.99, so it's not even a full-priced game. But more on that later. The game, of course, is fully optimized for the new-gen consoles. It's only available on new-gen consoles, so you can only play it on Xbox Series S, X, and PC. And for PC, you need a pretty decent PC to run this game anywhere good so i got a 4080 pc and uh with an i9 and it it was troublesome <laughs> to say the least um let's go start it up yes here we go you guys if you like this kind of content don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel it means a lot for me you're really helping out the channel by the way right now i just checked Around 40% of my viewers already subscribe to the channel. Let, let's make that like 50-50 or something. So please help me out on that one. Also, you can hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a, yeah, what, daily basis. New games, old games, updates on games. Sometimes even a little bit of hardware here and there. Also, a big shout out to the people at Microsoft for uh, gifting me this game in early access so I could make these videos. I already completed the game twice even. I even did a um, full walkthrough with a complete guide for all the collectibles in this game. So if you are curious to just see the game or if you just uh, want to know where all the collectibles are, please check out my full uh, full walkthrough guide for this game. Um, settings. So in terms of graphics, there are no not not much to say. It runs 30 FPS. There's a really big reason for that because uh, the game really wants to have like a cinematic feel. I also played it at 60 FPS on my PC and it felt a little bit like those um, HF uh, high frame rate movies like The Hobbit and stuff. It, it, it feels a little bit fake. I don't know how to explain it because it's a really big narrative movie super cinematic and they really want to give you that cinematic feel for this game it's even on pc they advise they they they, they almost beg you to play it play it on 30 fps it is playable at 60 fps but they beg of you to play it at uh at, at, at 30 um let's start it up i'm gonna play the same part as i did in uh, my Series S video. I will show you right now the, the frame rate test. So this is a little bit the same area where I already was. So I'm doing this on purpose because I don't want to give away any spoilers because you see some pictures. <laughs> but yeah, it's a super stable 30 FPS all the way through. Like... Uh, and it uses everything, like ray tracing, uh, the volumetric lightning, lumen. Everything is used in the Unreal Engine 4. This game looks stunning. That said, it does look stunning, but it uses a really low um, base resolution. So it uses FSR 3.1 or 3.2 like oblivion. This game probably runs on a base resolution of like 720p, maybe 900p, upscale to 1440p. It's uh, it's it's coming from low, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Yeah, you can you can definitely see. I was doing some uh, resolution. I couldn't even do a resolution check on the game because of the high 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 amounts of upscaling 
it was impossible. I, I even did it together with a friend of mine, AJ Gaming. He's like a master in doing uh, resolution checks. We both couldn't find it. So if we will find it, it will definitely put it down in the description of the video. But right now it's all this. <laughs> um, I really want to show you the photo mode. This is insane what you can do here. Look at this. Look at her face. That's insane. But and that's all in engine, by the way. That's not even pre-rendered. But look at how light re reacts to her in real time. That's some next gen stuff. Really slow. Damn. That's some crazy things. You can do so many crazy stuff with the photo mode in this game. Yeah. It's completely insane. But yeah, it's a really slow paced game. So I had zero pl problems. Like zero, you know. Uh, I've played Starfield at 30 FPS. It gave me a headache. Uh, I've played some other games at 30 FPS. I didn't like it. I waited for like a uh, performance uh, update. This game... It doesn't even need a performance update. This game should be played at 30 FPS. If there's any game ever made that has no problem being played at 30 FPS, then it's uh, definitely this one. Fargrimer saw in Senua a chance to save his land from the giants. He saw in her the strength that might make the hidden folk hear her plea. So he sent her out to find them, with just these warnings. They are powerful. They are no friend to man. And they will punish anyone they find unworthy of their aid. Pain. You know, how these rocks and everything... You know, I got a feeling that not a single rock looks the same. Look at how the shadows react. My goodness. So close to true photo realistic games. We're, we're close. This is the closest I've seen thus far. There were some times in this game, I actually think that the people at Ninja Theory are playing a game with uh, with us because there were a few moments that I thought it was like uh, they have like they fly over uh, this landscape, this Icelandic line landscape, and I had a few moments that I felt like they used like. Um, real images like real video material flying over these uh, these these rock formations and during that video they went over into like the unreal engine but i couldn't find it i couldn't see it but that's how realistic it sometimes can look it's insane also the game itself it's so incredibly good i had such a joy playing this game uh, I've, I've completed it two times and i had no problems playing it two times i think it, it was even better to play two times because that way the story is is really good and it's way easier to understand than you think it's you don't even need to play the first one to enjoy this game this is pretty standalone Yeah, if you really want to see how the Series S holds up against the Series X, you can literally put both videos next to each other at the same time and check it out. Because I really, I literally like playing the same parts uh, as I did on the Series S. Because 
landscape. He really is. He knows about us. He can hear us as well. He doesn't hate her. Please play this game with a uh, with a uh, headset on. I haven't tested if it works with mouse and keyboard, but even if it does work with mouse and keyboard, play it with a controller. This game is not made for mouse and keyboard. The only thing that's maybe a little bit sad, you can complete the game in like six, seven hours. So it's not a long game. That's also probably why it's super cheap. Because it's only forty nine ninety nine. It's not like a triple A um, priced game. That's like eighty euros or something. It's actually quite cheap. Awesome! So incredibly awesome. Look at the rock formations and stuff. switch to look at this absolutely insane This world completely out of this world. Yeah, you guys, this is Hellblade 2 Senua's Saga or Senua Saga Hellblade 2 on the Series X. And yeah, this is it's a masterpiece. It's more of an experience than it's really a game, but it is an experience you want to take. You want to know what's going to happen. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. <laughs> Till next time. Bye.